Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. Uh, this is the Price Variance Show. It is the Price Variance Show in rapid fire. So this is like really qu quick show for you where we're looking at B-list characters or characters that are kind of under the radar maybe a little bit um, that you might not know and that are kind of cool that we kind of like. So um, Mark is going to show us his first character, B-list character. Who is it? Right, I've got a feeling some people may argue about whether this character is B-list. So it's Image's 30th anniversary year this year. So they started 30 years ago in 1992. And the A-list star from Image back in 1992 and still today is Spawn. So I'm not picking Spawn, but another <laughs> character who came out in 1992 at the same time as uh, Spawn was uh, Sam Keith's The Max. So yes, he's got- I'd say he's B, I'd say he's B list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I really enjoyed The Max. I think it ran for about 30, 40 issues. Sam Keith is still drawing The Max. Yep, uh, still he, going. And occasionally we get a, a new Max comic. Um, the concept's really great. You know, the sort of, he's a sort of down and out in the real world. He's a sort of homeless guy. Um, and then he sort of goes to this otherworldly place where he's a sort of hero stomping across the plains. Uh, and his social worker in real life is the sort of um, panther princess. Um, and it's this, that sort of um, dichotomy that I think works really well. And I really like Sam Keith's artwork. I've actually got mm -hmm. a couple of quite um, rareish items from Max, which I bought, you know, I bought literally back in 1992 this is max issue oh, that's a good one yeah I, I was looking for that one just recently the wizard really? uh yeah, the wizard, one. wizard the half and i've got a second coa with it as well there's something special about this i'm not sure if you know it no you know, the thing that that's the very first mail away oh was it from, really yeah that's the very first mail away from wizard Oh, fantastic. I didn't know that. There you go. I That's a little piece of history. Because <laughs> uh, I was looking at that book. I, I, I was, I was going to get that one too. So that's it, an awesome one. It's quite 90s. It's sort of purple, shiny sort of uh, cover. <laughs> it's very 90s. Um, and this one is actually even rarer. This is an Ashcan edition of the map. Oh, nice. Red, um, signed by Sam Keith. Um, it's number 966. These are actually really, really rare. And they go for a lot of money when they appear on them, um, when they appear for sale. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't seen it myself. So that's a that's definitely a rare one. Um, just a couple more Maxes here. This is a really nice one. This is with him versus another of the sort of B-list characters from, uh, from, from Image. Uh, this is Pitt. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I have that book. <laughs> you do? Okay. And finally, just to, I really quite like this cover. This is called Friends of Max. And the reason I like this is it, it's got <laughs> it's got the Max. He's down here in the corner and he's just appearing out and he's saying, Hey gang, do you have the guts to read a comic about emotional jeopardy instead of all that typical physical jeopardy stuff? <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, um, there's my B-list character for this week. It's uh, Sam Keith's The Max. The Max was a highly underrated series. Highly underrated. Highly underrated. Um, actually, he made his first appearance in a, um, like a Primer, in the Primer yes. series. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I actually have that because I was, I was a fan of The Max. I thought he was cool. Okay, so... Um, the character I'm going to show is one that you guys won't know. <laughs> Nobody knows this character, but she was hot in the Golden Age, and she's a hot character. Um, it's Princess Panther. Okay, ah. This is her, her cover appearance. Um, this is Thrilling Comics number 64. It's a beautiful uh, Alex Schomburg uh, cover. Like So when Alex Schomburg first started out, he would do like... Um, like you know like marvel like marvel comics like you know like captain america and you know uh beating up some nazis or like you know some kind of war related comics later on in this alex's career he did these kind of airbrushed good girl art covers and so that's one of the things that really drove me into collecting 
the golden age was these kind of sexy airbrushed covers. And this is, um, you know, Princess Panther. <laughs> so, um, she and she looks, made her- She looks a bit like Betty Page. A little bit, yeah. I mean, that was kind of the 40s style anyways, yeah. right? That 40s, 50s, this is from 1948. Um, and it's like, they always had like the, the kind of the, the leopard skin, you know, the, you know, that sort of polka dotted, you know, uh, bra kind of thing going on. Um, if you're interested in this character, she made her first appearance in this comic, uh, Thrilling Comics number 56, another Alex Schomburg, not a cover that I like. I actually don't like this cover, but uh, it is her first appearance is in this book. So, um, you know, this is like the other one you can get and it's, it's relatively cheap because it is such a bad cover. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, not on it. so it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't work quite no. right. Um, no, no. You know, Alex Schomburg is a pretty awesome artist, but this one was a miss for him. <laughs> like, but um, Princess Panther is a really cool character. Uh, you know, a typical jungle girl, you know, that, you know, there's not much to tell. <laughs> like, I think jungle girl, that's pretty much all you need to say. Um, <laughs> Jungle Gold Girl, Good Girl Art. So um, that's my one from the Golden Age. Uh, one that I think is a very much a B tier or maybe C. D, C, or E tier. <laughs> I, think, I, think I think it's the artist that brings it up. Yes, yes, that's what I would say. Um, and it's one of those characters that was actually pretty popular in the Golden Age. It was not like some obscure character. People would know it back in the Golden Age. So times change but it's still one that collectors of the golden age comics will appreciate yeah so okay that's mine <laughs> so um thank you uh mark again for coming on the show and uh we're gonna continue this show on mark's channel so there's more more of these obscure b tier c tier e tier f tier g tier whatever they are tier uh characters and you just got to click that link below and go over to Mark's channel to see two more awesome characters. So thanks again, Mark. Uh, see you on the next one.